The Fastest Horse of the Week is presented by the Fast Stallions at Windstar Farm. On average, only two to three horses a year record a buyer's speed figure of 100 or higher as a two-year-old. And such precociousness is prized by breeders. Independence Hall did just that. In a 12 and a quarter length victory in the Nashua Stakes and only the second start of his career, Independence Hall would go on to record two more triple digit buyers, including a seven length victory over Code of Honor in the Fayette Stakes at Keeneland. That's a lot of speed for a stud fee of only $10,000 at Windstar Farm. And now for the fastest horse of the week. Technically, it would be Sibelius, a five-year-old gelding who last Saturday just missed the six furlong track record at Tampa Bay Downs in his hard-fought win in the Pelican State. Sibelius earned a 100 buyer speed figure, the highest of the week, but perhaps the most talked about buyer of the week was the 95 figure turned in by Skinner, promising Colonel and Colton last Sunday beat a strong maiden field at Santa Anita by a widening three and one quarter lengths at one mile. That was Skinner's first start since October. If all goes well, you can look for Skinner in a Kentucky Derby prep next time out. He is owned by the prominent CRK stable of Lee and Susan Searing, who Santa Anita Derby winner Honor AP finished fourth in the 2020 Kentucky Derby. Skinner is trained by John Sheriffs and was ridden Sunday by Victor Espinosa.